The United Kingdom, led by England, is made up of four countries, including the United Kingdom itself. In the past, the British have influenced these countries in one way or another, infusing them with their own culture and exploiting them from time to time. Northern Ireland and Scotland have retained their local cultures and national characteristics. They have always had strong separatist opposition. But when we look at Wales, we see the most voiceless country in the United Kingdom, as if resigned to its fate. While there is a widespread belief that Northern Ireland and Scotland will one day become fully independent, there is a belief that Wales will always remain in the shadow of England. In this video, we take a closer look at Wales, which is the most overshadowed country in the world. Wales is located in the southwestern part of the island of Great Britain. Its only land neighbor is England. It has a coastal border of about 2,700 kilometers. About 3,100,000 people live in the country whose capital is Cardiff. They have two official languages. One is English, and the other is their own language, Welsh. While they are called Wales in English, they call their country Simru in their own language. Simru means compatriot or citizen in Welsh. The national identity of the Welsh began to develop after the end of Roman rule on the island of Britain. The nation is considered one of the modern Celtic nations. In the 1200s, they came under British rule. Sometime in the 1400s, they regained their freedom, but this was short-lived, and the English conquered the country again. For a long time, Wales was completely subordinate to London and only recently gained partial autonomy. In 1998, the British gave the Welsh the right to their own parliament and autonomy in internal affairs. The English people look down on the Welsh and have a very negative prejudice against them. They believe that the Welsh are socio-culturally inferior to them. For many years, the British imposed complete neighborhood oppression on the Welsh people under their influence. For example, in 1872, the British passed a law forbidding students to speak Welsh, their native language, even among themselves in schools. They came up with an interesting way to enforce this ban. This piece of wood you see here is called a Welsh knot. It has the letters W and N on it, which stands for Welsh knot. When schools opened, teachers would give this piece of wood to the first child they heard speaking Welsh. The child would hang it around their neck with a string. Teachers would arbitrarily punish the child wearing the piece of wood. For example, standing on one leg or facing the wall. More interestingly, to get rid of the piece of wood, the child had to identify another child speaking Welsh. Wales became very valuable to England, especially with the Industrial Revolution. Coal, the fuel for the steam engines that powered the Industrial Revolution, was abundant in Wales. The coal fields in the southern counties filled a great need for energy for British industry. Coal mining remained high until the mid-1900s. By the 1950s, the demand for coal began to decline. This is because the sources of energy used have changed since then. For example, natural gas, not coal, is now widely used in homes. This has also happened in the industrial sector. Agriculture was the most widespread economic activity in the country before coal, and it is still one of the largest industries. Wales lies in the northern temperate zone. In the coldest period, temperatures usually do not fall below zero degrees Celsius. In the warmest period, it reaches a maximum of 21, 22 degrees. But even more important than the temperatures is the rainfall. The country receives an average of 300 rainy days per year. These climatic conditions have turned the country into a lush green landscape. Due to the large wooded areas and long pastures, ovine breeding is one of the pillars of the country's economy. There are 9 million sheep in Wales, and there are three sheep for every one person. The town with the second longest name in the world is in Wales. Let's hear from a Welshman about the name that most of us probably can't pronounce. It is located at the foot of the bridge that connects the island of Anglesey in northern Wales to the mainland. The village was originally called Lanfair. In the 19th century, a shoemaker living in the village invented the word to draw attention to his desire to build a railway station in the village. It is actually a nursery rhyme with the real name of the village, Lanfair, in it. The cobbler achieved his goal and created public opinion in the area. After collecting signatures and petitioning the authorities, it was agreed that a railroad line and station would be built in the area. After the train arrived, the village became better known in Britain. With the advent of the internet, it attracted the attention of people around the world because of its long name. The village's official website also has the longest domain name. The domain name longestintheworld.com was also redirected to the site so that people could easily access the site. The flag of Wales consists of a red dragon on a green and white background divided into two parts. 
So why do they use such a mythological symbol? Legend has it that in the 5th century, the Red Dragon, representing the Welsh, and the White Dragon, representing the Saxons, fought a battle in which the Red Dragon emerged victorious. Since then, the Welsh have used this symbol on all flags representing them. Also, the dragon tattoo is a very popular tattoo figure among Welsh men. In addition, there is no detail representing the Welsh flag on the Union Jack, the flag of the United Kingdom. This is because the Principality of Wales was united with England before the first Union Jack was designed in 1606. You've probably heard the title Prince of Wales when you read or watch something about the British royal family. The title Prince of Wales is given to the eldest son of the person on the British throne, so the direct heir to the throne. For example, the current King Charles III was Prince of Wales before the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. Now his eldest son, Prince William, has assumed the title of Prince of Wales. The title of Princess of Wales was, of course, given to the wives of these princes. For example, Lady Diana held the title of Princess of Wales when she was married to King Charles III. Today, Prince William's wife, Catherine, is also a Princess of Wales. One of the worst disasters in Welsh history was caused by a coal mine, but it happened outside the mine, not inside it. And it was not the miners who suffered, but the people who lived in the area. The village of Aberfan, in the south of the country, grew because of the nearby coal mine. For 50 years, this coal mine had been piling up waste from the mine on the hill next to the village. Many reports had indicated that there was groundwater in the area and that there was a high risk of landslides. In October 1966, the area was hit by days of torrential rain. At 9.15 a.m. on October 21st, 1966, the waste from the coal mine slid and piled on top of the village as the rainwater activated the groundwater. The landslide killed 144 people, 116 of whom were children. The reason for the high number of children who lost their lives was that the worst affected area was the village school, and it happened at a time when the children were in school. The Aberfan disaster is considered one of the top 10 mining disasters in world history. Queen Elizabeth II, who reigned for 71 years, called it the greatest regret of her reign. Wales is known as the castle capital of the world. There are around 600 castles in this relatively small country, most of which are still standing. Nowhere else in the world are there so many castles per square kilometer. The most common surname in Wales is Jones. About 6% of the population has this surname. If you think that 6% is not much, let me give you an example from England. The most common surname in England is Smith, and 1.1% of the population has the surname Smith. There is a historical reason why there are so many Joneses in Wales. Before the country became part of the English legal system in 1542, there was a surname system where children took their father's first name. For example, the full name of the son of someone named Eric, who was named William, would be William Ap Eric. The Ap in between is the word for child, so the full name would mean Eric, William's child. The system was the same for girls. The English Constitution used the classical surname Law, which is still in use today. When they changed to the English legal system in 1542, many people with the surname Ap John changed it to Jones because of the common name John. One of the national symbols of Wales is the leek. There are two common beliefs about why they chose the leek as their national symbol. It is said that St. David, the bishop who is considered the patron saint of Wales, ordered his country to wear leeks on their helmets during a battle so that his soldiers could better distinguish each other against the enemy Saxon soldiers who wore armor very similar to his country's soldiers. The tactic worked and the Welsh won a great victory over the Saxons. The second belief dates back to the Battle of Crecy, fought by the English in northern France in 1346. Welsh archers played the most important role in the English victory. The battle was fought in a field of leeks. The people of Wales wore leeks on their hats to commemorate this honorable moment. Since then, the vegetable has become a national symbol. The most important manufacturing sector in Wales is aerospace. More than 23,000 people work for over 160 aerospace companies in the country. They manufacture, supply, maintain, and repair civil and military aircraft around the world. Leading companies such as General Electric and Airbus have major manufacturing hubs here. Wales has 5% of the UK's population, but it has 20% of the UK's aerospace sector and 10% of the UK's space industry. It is also claimed that a Welshman named William Frost invented the airplane eight years before the Wright brothers, who are considered the inventors of the airplane. 
This form of airplane was slightly different from the Wright brothers' invention and was made of bamboo, canvas, and wire. The wings were filled with gas bags or hydrogen bladders to keep it in the air. William Frost, a poor carpenter, patented the invention, but on his first attempt to fly, he didn't get enough lift and got stuck in a tree, destroying his invention. He had no money to start over. After four years, the patent expired. Wales does not have its own currency. Like the other countries that make up the United Kingdom, it uses the British pound sterling. However, all coins used in the United Kingdom are made at the Royal Mint in Lantrisant, South Wales. This mint not only mints the pound sterling, but also coins for more than 60 other countries, including Jamaica, Tanzania, and Thailand. The coin museum next to the mint is also one of the most visited places in the country. If you know of anything interesting about Wales, please write to us below.